Hi and welcome to McBridge Reviews. Today we're gonna do a special episode. This is uh, all the minifigures uh, from the new Ninjago movie uh, series. So I can't wait to show you the 20 new minifigures. And yeah, let's get started. So first off is uh, Kendu uh, Kai, with of course his new fantastically cool head uh, hairpiece, really nice. Also like the, the new scars and the new uh, band-aids, really cool, really nice detail. No alternate face for this guy, but he's got a really cool chest piece, just like the other uh, Kai suits, but just a little armor piece. For this one, the, the can do uh, version. He also get an extra helmet for of course to complete the suit and his two weapons, two wooden sticks. So yeah, this is a really cool cool figure and I really like it, really nice addition, especially the hair piece is really cool, I really like that really like all the new hairstyles from the new Ninjago movie, but I think Kai really got one uh, one of the best uh, hair pieces in my opinion. So that is it for Kai. Number two on the list is of course uh, Spinjitzu Training Nia. Also really nice, really nice suit. Uh, these are the suits you, ga you get with, uh, with the new comic style uh, books from Lego. So I got Nia. And of course, uh, I got uh, Cole from the from the com comic uh, books. So as you can see, the suits are the same. They're all in training gear. So I can't wait to collect the other ones of this uh, Spinjitzu training uh, sets. So yeah, this is also a really nice nice addition, and I really like the the logo on the back for Master Wu, of course, the trainer. No alternate face for her as well. But a really cool hair hair piece and the wooden swords are a really cool addition. So that is a really nice nice minifigure as well. So that is it for Nia. number three, Lloyd. Uh, this is just a normal uh, Lloyd. You can you get in the uh, the sets as well. So this is not really a special uh, a minifigure per se. I don't know if he's got an alternate face, maybe uh, different than the sets. But he also got her. The head, the hair piece in this set, really cool, really nice, nice detail on the the hair piece. No alternate face for this guy. Uh, yeah, the the same weapon as in the sets, the same suit as in the sets. You also get, of course, the the mask with this set. It's also the same as in the the normal sets, of course. So this is him with the mask on, really nice. But yeah, like I said, nothing uh, special about this guy. Perhaps only the face maybe, and the hair piece. And of course you get a blueprint of his green dragon. So that is the the main thing for this character, I think. The, the blueprint, really cool, really nicely done. So that is cool. So, and that is it for Lloyd as well. Next up is Master Wu. Uh, also, this guy is also the same as in the normal sets, uh, the same new uh, cloth uh, uh, dress, I don't know how to pr properly announce an another word for this. But yeah, this is just a normal Master Wu, like any other Master Wu uh, in the new sets. The only differences for this guy is of course the cornflakes, I think this is the most uh, desirable uh, piece of Lego uh, for this character and yeah it's a really cool piece I really like it and yeah it's a, a perfect perfect little uh, addition to the rest of the the food uh, things and I really hope Lego will make more of these things because yeah they're just really cool and I think most of you guys will collect uh, the things just for these uh, little extras and they're really cool so I can't wait to see more of these things and I really love them. So that is it for Master Wu number 4. This is number 5, Garmadon, the bad guy of course, and Lloyd's father. 
a really cool weapon really like it and uh, the helm i really like is really cool i really like those new style of helmets or, or hoods uh, i don't know how to properly announce announce these things but i really like them and they're just uh, they're really cool and sadly for this character as well it's a, a normal garmadon you get uh, you get him in a multiple sets so that is not really a desirable collectible minifigure in my eyes for this uh, series but it's a nice addition if you don't want to buy the set or if you want a cheap Garmadon this is of course a cool way to do it and not a bad way to do it I really like uh, his face uh, I don't think a Garmadon has ever been in a Lego set before I don't know exactly or but I never got him uh, in an old set so this is really cool for me to get him. I also like the new uh, extra uh, part you get here. So these two parts can uh, stay together really cool and don't easily fall off like the old uh, versions of the two uh, two guys. And yeah, I really think this these type of characters are really cool with the four arms. Uh, I really like uh, the look of it and the style. Of course, it's a bit of uh, Mortal Kombat, and yeah, that is why I love it, I think. Uh, really cool, really nicely done. And the weapon is also really nice. I can't wait to see the movie and see what all the weapons are about, especially the fish, wep the fish weapons. And yeah, it's a really cool figure. So that is it for Number Garmadon. 6 is of course Jay Walker, or Jay, as uh, most of the people will know him. But it's a really cool, uh, cool name, and it's really, uh, a really fun, fun way uh, to say it. Also, I really like the hair piece again; really nicely done. I really like all the new style of hair pieces for this series, and I can't wait to do uh, to to get more of these uh, hair pieces uh, from Lego and more styles from Lego. Really cool what I do uh, the couple of years with with the new style things. The scarf is also really cool, really nicely done. It's a hard material. I was thinking, uh, I was thinking it was be uh, would be soft, like the the head pieces of, or of some of the new uh, Ninjago series. But it's uh, it's pretty hard. Uh, it's not the soft uh, material I was uh, hoping for or what I was thinking about. But it is nice. It's it's still a cool piece, and I really like it. That's really nice. Also, no alternate face for this guy. But he's got a selfie stick and there's his face on again, so that is really cool. I think this is the first uh, time LEGO made a selfie stick. Maybe it was in one of the creator sets or or anything, but I this is the first time I'm getting it. And yeah, it's really fun. Also really cool detail with the camera, really nicely done. I really like it. And yeah, the, the character is really cool as well. So that is it for Jay Walker, number Next six. Up, number seven, Lloyd Garmadon. This is the normal uh, Lloyd uh, in his uh, free time. It's really cool what I did uh, with the leg piece. The, the sweater will uh, walk into the trouser. It's really nice. I don't know if you guys can see it properly, but it's a really cool detail. And just like the, uh, the food... Uh, pocket or yeah it's hard to, <laughs> to say it in English I don't know all the words but it's a some sort of plate let's keep it at that really cool with the detail with the prints on there really nicely done really impressed what Lego uh, did with this print is because it's so small and it's so perfect in my eyes really cool also I like the spoons really nicely done and of course the hoodie is really cool, uh, a really nice, nice piece. Also an alternate face for this guy, but the hoodie is just fantastic. I really love it. And just like I said, the, the Chinese bowl, this is a bowl. The Chinese bowl, bowls are really cool. And yeah, like I said, I can't wait to get more of these little things. They, they just make, make things perfect and yeah, in my eyes. They fit perfectly in the, the Lego world and I can't wait to see more. So that is it for J, uh, for uh, Lloyd Garmadon. A really cool figure, a really desirable figure I think. Uh, for the ball, for the, for the hoodie. There's multiple things to collect from this guy and 
yeah like i said the pants with the detail from the sweater is really cool really nice little touch up and yeah fantastic in my eyes i think this is one of my favorite uh characters from the series and yet it it is so simple but it it is just so perfect perfectly executed by lego and yeah fantastic so that is it for lloyd garland so next up number eight cole with a cool little radio, a little boombox, really nice uh, black one with the gold uh, detail, really nice. And I really like his, uh, it's a rock uh, lock. Also with with this guy, the, the shirt is going into the pants, so there's a really cool detail, really nice touch-ups. I like the, the new Ninjago themed uh, type of uh, language, really cool. I can't wait to decipher, to decipher those things and find out what all the things says a world tour, a tour shirt that is this and also no alternate face but like i said a really new cool hair piece is fantastic uh, i also like the 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 the, the fat uh, eyebrows or the the big eyebrows really cool there's one thing i really like about cole is his expressions on this guy's face with the eyebrows really nicely done uh, yeah, it's a fantastic little rocker a uh, guy, perfect for uh, a concert scene or whatever you want to use him in. But it is a fantastic minifig and yeah, just a cool one in my eyes. So that is it for call number eight. So this is number nine, Lloyd's mother, uh, Misako. I don't know if I'm correctly uh, pronouncing it, but it is a really cool minifig. Let me tell you that I really like the... The clothes, the clothes, a really nice detail on there. Uh, the the color of her hair piece is really nice. The two uh, wooden sticks in her hair are really cool, really nice uh, little detail. It is just fantastic. The little details are coming uh, coming out more and more with Lego. It is not just a, a blocky uh, playset anymore. Things are getting better and better with Lego and also the prints and just the little details are just so fantastic and so nicely done by Lego. It's really impressive. I really like to see those things come alive and yeah, like I said, it's really impressive to get such a small item with such uh, so many details in there. It's really, really impressive. I'm really impressed with that by Lego and I hope uh, things will get better and better yeah, over the years. And I, I, I'm pretty sure things will get better for Lego and yeah, it's just fantastic to see how they uh, yeah evolve. So yeah, I really like the, the headpiece, the chest, the clothes and the hair. I don't know why she has a, a brown lip and an orange lip. I just noticed it because uh, of the camera is so close of course, but I don't know why why that is, but I'm, I'm happy to find out in the movie. No alternate face for her as well. But yeah, it's a really cool minifigure and like I said, the details are fantastic. So that is it for uh, Lloyd's mom, number 9. So this is number 10, Zane of course, uh, with a backpack. Really cool to see a new type of backpack, especially with, especially with two colors. Really fantastic, really nice. I can't wait to, to use this guy uh, or his backpack uh, on multiple things like when I'm going off at vacation and bringing a minifigure with him with me. This bag will be fantastic and even better than the, the green ones from the the other series because it had two colors. Uh, the other one has two colors as well but the red really stands out as a second color so that is fantastic. And yeah, the chest piece is really cool, really uh, a nerdy chest, but it's really cool and yeah, fantastic in my eyes. Also like the new hairstyle for this guy, yeah, the hair is going into the, the minifigure head, that is fantastic. And since, since I'm a barber myself, it's really cool to see a new type of hairstyles and this one is really cool. Uh, it's a block head or an army cut, I don't know how... Uh, how you guys in uh, over the seas uh, say these type of cuts but i think it's an army cut and yeah the face on this guy is just fantastic really cool yeah fantastic is also one of my favorite characters in this uh, series the simple ones are yeah just uh, amazing in my eyes and really really cool 
I really like him. So that is it for Zane.